hi guys good morning but first coffee i have been loving this coffee i showed on my instagram as well i put one shot of starbucks blonde espresso blonde roast which i get from amazon and then i put some french vanilla is that creamer it's called coffee mate and then i put some oat milk and some ice and then this is my milk this is my coffee and it tastes very nutty and creamy and like just like indie coffee places that gives you coffee the french vanilla coffee mate itself it has flavor and sugar in it as well so yeah i just always have one coffee just for a boost of energy today i have workout so I'm very stoked i get very excited when i have gym because it's my favorite thing to do and these days i have been wearing a braid before going to bed because i just saw some whoa the sun just came in i just saw red somewhere that sleeping with open hair can lead to brittle hair and breakage i always sleep with open hair always and so i just started making like a loose braid and going to bed a dry hair so yeah it just feels cute also it's been a while since i have worn braids but braids can be really cute and stylish as well you guys have been asking me where i get my t-shirts from everything's from h&m this is from h&m it's just they have oversized lovely t-shirts i love it today i have a bunch of cleaning up to do i've already started because my morning starts really early because abby wakes up really early she wakes up at like five i just want to do my wardrobe i feel like there's so much stuff so much clothes i keep donating it because i i was fluctuating in my size for the past three months and i just dropped weight so fast that i call for a lot of extra large and then large stuff and then medium stuff and i have to just give away those things because i don't i can't do taka and tailoring and all i just i need it to fit really well i have to like i give away those outfits i don't throw it in the trash i give away they're all really good outfits from zara and h&m so i just give it away to friends and whoever wants to take it can take it because i rather someone use it because they're very good outfits they like trousers dresses very good stuff that's why i have to keep like changing because my weight keeps fluctuating i think i'm going to be this weight for a while <laughs> i'm like 61 but i'm pretty like i'm in a medium size now in pants tops everywhere so i am i got a little bit i like things to be a little more fitted when it comes to when i wear outfits where outside i'm going to clean up my wardrobe today i cleaned up abby gills wardrobe right now lot of outfits zero to three months oh my god first child everything under the sun the only baby i'm ever gonna have so <laughs> i literally bought so many things like I literally shopped the entire catalog i think of zara nation because i was so obsessed with i can't wait to dress her up i can't wait to dress her up because when i knew she was a girl i got even more obsessed and i'm like i'm gonna buy this and that and this you don't need anything for the first two months i'll be very very clear my mom told me but i didn't listen i was like no i need to i will i will nothing doing because babies only need to be swaddled for the first month and as they grow up they only need to wear onesies which we make abigail wear all the time she's so comfortable in a onesie whether it's sleeved or spaghetti onesies or full sleeve onesies she loves onesies and it's more comfortable for her to move around because she's not sitting up yet she's just turning and i have a lot of t-shirt shorts that i bought for like post six months which i have so i kept those in the hanger and yeah just like you don't need a lot of stuff i have like a bag full of outfits she has never worn i got like little tiny little dresses and all a newborn baby will never wear a dress unless you want to take a picture they're so like soft and tender and sensitive they can't wear dresses they need to be like cuddled and swaddled really cute and so my bad first time mom mistake a uh, lesson learned again i'm donating it to the church i'm donating it to friends because again they're very good outfits and someone should get a use of them and yeah so it's clean up day today i think i'm going to halt on work a little bit because i have videos that can go up i think i just need to do some cleaning so cleaning up my wardrobe mm. yeah that's my plan for today i'm honestly having a lot of issues with my pillow i got these pillows from amazon and then from sleepy cat i do not like it it's so comfortable and snug when you hold it but i don't think it's good for the neck it's not it's not my neck is perpetually like in a in a crick crink i know there's something that's not right i just i don't know pillows and curtains and all like mujhe aata nahi hai ye sab so yeah i think does this help i've propped it up on this this is the snug and sleep snug and sleep pillow it's a neck pillow okay 
I'm just supposed to sleep like this. It's not cuddly and comfy. Like, you know, it's not soft. But I think that's the problem. I'm 30 now. I don't know. I don't know what shit's happening to my body. But I think I cannot do soft pillows anymore because, dude, the crink in my neck is real. I think I'll use this pillow for a while because it's because I usually put my hand underneath my pillow and snug it. I can't do it with this. It's so karak that I think it's good for the neck. There's a reason why they made this pillow. So I'm gonna give it a shot. That's all the updates from me. I am excited because next week we're going to Goa. So I'm gonna show you the packing situation. We have to pack Abby's bag. I think infants are not allowed a bag, if I'm not mistaken. Am I wrong, moms? I don't know. But uh, infants are not allowed bags, I think. So we're gonna have to like figure it out. It's only three nights. I think we'll be good. You know, but babies have diapers, wipes. Diapers I can buy from there, but I don't wanna take that tension of getting out and going to the grocery. I'm just going for a chill trip. I just want to chill. Diapers, onesies, extra clothes, burp cloths, bibs, bottle, formula. It's like a whole scene. Like the baby needs her own bag. So I think mom and I are gonna compromise on our outfits and we're just gonna put Abby stuff in. I think that and I'm good. I think I got, got some sunscreen. I have some pretty chill shorts and crop tops and stuff. I'm good. I'm not looking for a fancy trip. This is now Greece, honey. I'm just looking to be in my literal Goa dress and like lounge in the villa and do nothing else hopefully visit some new cafes get coffee i really want abby to see the world i feel like like i said before i am so nervous traveling with abby or stepping out of the house with abby that i don't do it at all she goes down under the building at the least or even not for weeks i don't go down in the building and take her down because we have a balcony so i don't know why is it just me or is it just a first time mom thing because i'm really nervous taking her out i see all these youtubers and moms take their babies out and like strap them on a carrier and travel and I'm like, kaise kar rahe hai? To anxiety okay, ekdam pasina jayega. Like, I get too sweaty and anxious. Like when Abby cries and she's not okay, I'm very, no I instantly want to regulate her. I get so, like, don't cry. Let me, let me, let me help you. You know, I'm not used to the chill mom. Like I got this. So I don't know if I can do it, but I know I will be able to do it if I give it a shot. That's why the Goa trip, trying a small distance away, one hour flight. Uh, it, it'll be a good training for mom and I to like know what Abby is comfortable with, what she's not. We're going to make a lot of mistakes on the first trip and I think unless you do it you're never gonna know how it is so I just need to do it and then we'll figure it out it's gonna be okay Veronica's coming it's gonna be fine uh, it's gonna be fun a little bit tough because of the newborn feeding situation I don't know where public places sit and prop the bottle on but when it comes to like really showing up and doing the task I do the task I figure a way out but yeah let's see first trip I think she really needs to see the beach water more people textures now she's starting to see feel good grab stuff, turn. So I think now is a great time to start taking her out at four months. I think before that she was like too tiny. But yeah, let's see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated of course. And um, good morning. It's time for Goa. Guys, it's time to go to Goa. Just had a bath. I put on my sunscreen and my skincare. It's around, I wanna say like seven. So I still have an hour left to go. We wanna leave early and get there because of baby. We don't know what's about to commence and that's why we want to like make sure that we are ready to go. I'm just, I'm dressed like I'm going to Paris and not Goa. It's okay to be overdressed but not underdressed. We have to leave in the next 15 minutes. This is the final look. I really look like I'm going to Paris Fashion Week but I really am not. So this is my backpack. I, I carry it all the time. I prefer backpacks especially if I have to hold Abby. This is the best. And carrying all lithium ion batteries in the hand carry not in the luggage my camera battery is here with the charger all that takes up keep my chest keep my chest kali case charger deodorant vaseline napkin tissue sanitizer wallet aadhar card airpods lineage lip balm you can never have too many lip balms yeah all I have to do is keep my camera which is now filming so I can't keep it. I got these washable bags from Amazon. They're waterproof and they're so thick and good quality. I love these bags. I have like at least three sets of them and they come in different sizes. So all my toiletry is here. Also these come with stickers. They're like travel friendly. So I put my conditioner, shampoo, body wash all in this which is super cool for like three, four days. This is great. My basic beauty body oil is in here. Mini razor by Gillette. And if anything can spill, it'll spill here and it'll be perfect. I have chappas, straightener, bag. You can leave her here. 
speakers. So this is Abby's medicines and everything which we've kept here. Hi, Mama. Hi, Nani. Ready for go, Mama? Lingerie makeup bag is tiny, tiny pajamas. So I'm a very neat packer that way. And then I'm just gonna wrap it up. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. My mom will have to tie this. All right, guys, we are in the cab. Excited to make mistakes, but also nervous to make mistakes and learn from them. But yeah, let's see how it all goes. We made it past security. It was actually quite easy. It was just put the stroller in the security check and pass through and we did it. And we're in. Abigail just, oh, she's gone back to sleep. She loves chaos, noise. Like we got her used to the bartan and all at home so that when we step out, she's not disturbed and she is sleeping. So we're gonna stop and feed her now because she hasn't had to do since morning. This is so cool. The airport has a baby room and I've never been to the baby room. Of course, it's my first time and it's so cool. It's got air conditioning, it's quiet, it's away. It's got all these mini rooms. See, there's like a room. So in case you guys want to feed your baby, change diapers, this is where you can do it in the... Ooh. Veronica's waiting at Starbucks for us and we're done. minute flight i'm not even kidding we sat she served the lunch and took it away and we're like hello we didn't even open the box and she's like sorry ma'am we are landing so it took us like thir barely 30 minutes faster that then veronica takes to get to my house that's how fast we landed but we're here abby was such a sweetheart not a single sound from her she had to do when we took off she had to do when we landed fresh baggage and then on the way this villa is unreal like we're so blown away it's by rainforest. We're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> so beautifully like designed. The interiors and stuff are very like Veronica and my color palette. Like, sage walls, beige yeah, carpet. It's matcha. So this is the dining. Mother is very excited. Which we are going to just sit here the entire day. Grab our margaritas. I'm kidding. <laughs> our tradition. And then walking in here. That's the entrance. Those are the common bathrooms. There is one room here. So this is like one room in itself. We just unpacked here. This is on the ground floor. And we have the wardrobe, a mirror. Hello. So this is the ground floor and that's the kitchen. This is the passage area. Okay, and obviously we have a little balcony here. Then you wanna walk straight. And this is so stunning, wait for it. Are you kidding? Look at that view, you guys. Who does not want to wake up to this? Are you kidding? Chai coffee here. Second room right beside it is this one. So pretty. We have the toilet. It's so clean by the way. This is a room guys. This, this is, is one room. This is a Mumbai apartment. Like this is it and we're done. But this is a separate room in itself. It's blue themed. It's got this very luxe bed. And yeah. This is the dining in the room. This is the seating area in the master bedroom. Oh guys, wardrobe. Excuse me. Oh my God. Two sinks, always two sinks. I have to prepare this meal. One side is our door. And I'll leave this food with our body to rest. And thank you once again. You kept us safe, Lord, till here. And continue to take care of us. If I got a beach ball. Hello guys, we're here. 
going to the pool. We're excited like children. We are. And Abby's dressed in a swimwear and this is a green pool, not a blue one. Hi! Ready? She's got a new swimsuit from H&M. Uh, I'm so I'm quite tired. Uh, the travel makes you really tired, but we are in. Abby is gone to sleep. We are like, let's go to the pool and all. And I'm like, wow, she's woke up at five miles. I'm very new to being a mum. So I I didn't know. Okay, she needs a nap. Let's put her down for a nap first. I was like, let's go to the pool, and she was like, not having it. So she was crying, and then we put her to bed. So she's fast asleep now. Yeah, she's just chilling. We have dinner plans. Just going nearby. We had goan curry, goan prawn curry. We should step out of the villa. So we eat breakfast here in the morning and we'll head out for coffee, then come back for lunch. Decided we'll take it easy with Abby girl because we don't want to overwhelm her. Good morning, guys. It's breakfast time. We're all having omelet. We have some brown toast, papaya, watermelon, chai. We're sticking to eggs because then later we're gonna get coffee at a cafe. And Abby, good morning! I'm about to head out for coffee right now. We're going to G-Shot. Getting some coffee because I am craving some caffeine. And so is Veronica. So both of us are heading out. Yep, I'm wearing this dress. I got it when I was pregnant. I still like it. It's very loose, it's chill. Um, I might look slightly pregnant with this dress, but so be it. Heading out, let's go. Oh. I have been to pretty villas, but this is one of the best interior interiors I've come across. It's just so simple and I absolutely love it. Um, the thought behind everything is just like perfection. Okay, so basically I was wearing a neon crop top and shorts, like denim shorts, very goa and neon top. I love that combo, but the thing is, I'm having an issue with my bra situation. I'm just not able to find the right bra for my, for my breasts. So, <laughs> breasts. So that's why I'm like, you can see right through it, you can see the padding and everything and I'm like, that's so uncomfortable. So I'm not, I just changed to a dress and something loose. Abby was not pooping. She did not poop ever since we landed, TMI, but it's essential because I'm now mom. So I was crying so much today because of the stomach ache. She was like constipated. And my mom is a magician because she gives Abby raisin water. Um, so raisin juice, not water. So she soaks the raisin for a while and then she like crushes it. And then she just gave like this much to Abby. In 40 minutes, she pooped her. So yeah, if your kid's going through any constipation, my mom used to do this even when Abby was weeks old when she was constipated. Little bit of raisin juice and they used to poop like nobody's business. And I was like, that is insane. That is one of the best like remedies I have come across. Let's ask my mom. Every corner of this villa is like delicious. What did you do for Abby to poop? Tell us all your secrets. Raisins. Yeah, raisins. So we gave colicaid, we gave grape, gripe water, water. Gripe water. Nothing happened. Yeah. Then we had to call for white raisins. Yeah, white and what is in Hindi? Kash um, kishma, uh, kishmish. 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 Draksha. Uh, white draksha. Yeah. Uh, the, you can even black or uh, green ones. You have to soak in hot water and after half an hour just squeeze, the, not yeah. with the water, just squeeze the juice. Na, yeah, after the raisin. I just, gave, I just gave it to her and she went to sleep and she pooped. Look at this view my mom has. It's what ridiculous. Yeah. It's it's unreal. Unreal. <gasps> what? <laughs> We're waiting for the driver. I am craving for coffee and that is a huge part of dopamine. I, I saw the sea salt lavender latte and I want that. Huh? The sea salt sounds amazing. After that, it's Veronica fully. <laughs> the lavender bit. Hold up! Freeze this in, in like time. Freeze this but in the archive. Want she wants a pizza. You will I never hear Veronica say I, I want a pizza. One slice of a really good pizza. I want a smoothie bowl and I want coffee. Which is gluten free or no? Or you don't care? I would love a gluten free one. But I don't even want that. I think I'm just craving bread. I don't mind. I can bread. imagine for a glu gluten free girl, craving bread is so okay. Yeah, if they have, I saw that they have gluten free bread and I think I'm just gonna get a sandwich. Oh my god, yum, I want bread. Bread craving is real, dude. Look at this madam's view. So pretty. Every part of this villa is unreal. I don't have to hide from like clothes and chaddi hanging behind me and towels hanging behind me. I'm just like, 
look at my view <laughs> it's all perfection but yeah this is one of the better villas we have been to and i've told you that before so oh wow this is good i don't look ugly no it was the lighting it was the lighting the reflection like someone up... just has the best things wearing green today we're gonna make her pigtails her famous abby you're famous for your pigtails you know that Honey tahin toast. Lavender sea salt latte and tahin toast. She's applying sunscreen on her makeup. That's right. And I have just applied underneath. I'm being so rebellious. I love it. Your skin will also be rebellious when you're 16. She'll say Botox will save you. I'm carrying five sarongs, but yeah. <laughs> this amazing meal guys like this is unreal we've got some fish we've got some shrimp what else we got bhaji we have prawn curry prawn fish curry. curry king prawn fry king fish fry bean bhaji goan rice that is incredible and some poi and some poi what an elaborate spread mm mm good mm. morning better than yesterday yeah yeah it was good This meal has to be the highlight of the trip meal wise. We've been to two places but dude this is just so good. We have wiped it out. Like literally so do you like it? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you like love it? it? I love it. I'm going to dream about this food. Like I'm literally going to dream about this. It's so good. I've never had such a good meal like in Goa like proper Goan food. Dude. This is like proper Goan food. 5 on 5. I have lived with this hairstyle for 2 days now. <laughs> But this is what I intend on keeping. Wearing this dress from Zara. I'm sure you guys already know. This dress. That's we're going to a beach. Not looking like this, but we're going to a beach. Uh getting some I want to get some real coffee to be honest. You look like a school girl. Them volume. Only this she can carry off. I don't know. I don't know anyone else with a bob. She looks like a journalist. <laughs> Wow. listening on on everyone's conversations and like oh, yeah. I writing it down <laughs> hi guys good morning it's day 3 we are waiting for breakfast yesterday abi gabi woke up at 3 am but uh, she slept in and out now she's bathed and all here and we are just going to get breakfast finally i feel like i've been awake for ages waiting for breakfast like for mom <laughs> but i have to make my hair just did a light face makeup we definitely want to do the pool thing again yeah, i de- like just chill in the pool make abi yeah, laugh i love you no look at what my mom did <laughs> so cute baby people are fans of your pigtail you know that hi mama <laughs> Chocolate babka, tiramisu, uh, Veronica's gluten-free, yeah, pastry, mom's sausage roll, chai, my baby sleeping, and we're enjoying chai time. Please also call babka. Cheers. Okay. All right, guys, heading for dinner. I don't know why this light is doing this. Probably some setting issue, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I I hauled this. I I got this from Zara. 
but yeah, I just did a simple phase, not doing too much. I'm ready to get back home. Three days was with the baby is enough. We got the rested time that we need. We had so much fun. We had great food, good cafes, all of that. Last dinner for the night and tomorrow we catch a flight. All right. So let's go bathroom with a little messy. Um, things have to, things are like wet, you know, because it's raining crazily over here. But yeah, time to go. We're eating North Indian food right now. Um, this place invited us for dinner on our last night. It's amazing, like North Indian food. So we're like, absolutely, we'll be there. So yeah, it's like modern twist to North Indian, I guess. So. All right, guys, I will catch you home. I don't know if I'll be able to record the last bit, but last night and then going to bed and then back home, back to work, back to life. Uh -huh.